Welcome to ELF Hosted. This video will demonstrate how to use Plex with radar and sonar and content coming from Easy News. The very first step is to claim your Plex server. Open up plex.tv slash claim and copy your claim code to the clipboard. In your dashboard, go to File Browser, click the console icon and type ELFBOT claim Plex and paste your claim code. In the background, this will trigger a Plex restart, uh, following which Plex will claim itself, and that takes a few minutes. While waiting for that, let's also set up the necessary environment variables for debrid.dev to use easy news. So once again, we're going to use elfbot env debrid.dev, starting with debrid.dev underscore debrid clients equals easy news. Next up, we're going to go elfbot env debrid dev easy news username equals your username, whatever it is. And then again, easy news password equals your password. Now that's done, let's head back to Plex and see whether it's ready yet. Back to your dashboard. Launch Plex, not ready. Wait a few more minutes, keep refreshing. It does take three to four minutes to fully restart. When you see this welcome screen, you know you've successfully claimed Plex. Give your new server a name. It doesn't matter what you choose about remote access, it will always work. And add your libraries. We're going to add two libraries, each of which has two folders. It will be under storage, ignore debrid dev. We're going to storage sim links and movies. And once again, storage sim links movies 4K. The reason we have two folders is users sometimes prefer to use two different instances of radar to grab a copy of um, something in, in two resolutions to make it easy to stream from different devices adding your TV shows. It doesn't matter what you name the library. This is probably a UK definition. Storage, some links, series. And once again, storage, some links, series 4K. Add those guys. Save your changes and you are done. Plex is ready. How are we going to get the content into Plex now? For this, we need the R's. Let's start with Prowlr. Prowlr is not a downloader itself, but it is responsible for finding content. And by default, Prowlr is configured with Elf Zillion, which is our um, internal indexer for real debrid managed content. We don't need Elf Zillion for an easy new setup, so I'm going to delete it. And we're going to add a new indexer. And we want the generic news nab indexer. Rename it to Easy News. The URL will be http colon whack whack debrid dev 5001. Test it. It's happy. Save it. Close. We now have one indexer. Sync it to your apps. That's it. We're done with Prowlr. Back to the dashboard, let's start with Radar. In Radar, under Settings and Indexes, we'll find Easy News has synced from Prowlr. That's good. Under Download Clients, we want to disable the torrent downloader, Decipher. We're not using torrents in this case. And we want to enable the Bridev EN Usenet. Then go down to Connect. We have to add a connection to Plex so that Radar can tell Plex when it's downloaded something. Click Authenticate with Plex. Once again, you'll be prompted to authenticate through Plex's SSO. And instead of picking a server from this list over here, we're just going to type in Plex. And save. That's the setup done. Let's test downloading a movie. I'm going to add a movie. Add. 
Now Radar is talking to Prowlar, searching for a list of matches known to be found on Easy News, picking the best match according to your quality preferences, and downloading that. And we're done. White Zombie is green, it has been downloaded from Easy News and symlinked to your storage symlinks movies folder. There's another copy in storage slash debrid dev, but we're not going to look at that. Everything needs to live under storage symlinks for compatibility. If you look at Plex and you go to Films, and although White Zombie is not a recommended movie, it does appear here in your library. That's it. Now you'll need to repeat this process for every R. The process is the same, and you've now built your automatic media downloading system. Congratulations. Welcome to the ELF tribe. If you have any questions, you want to go to discord.elfhosted.com, where you can join in with the other elves, ask questions, and create a ticket if you really need some help. See you there.